uh, here you are, right off the bat, energy, you know. But uh, well, I'm not sure if we'll use it on this project, but we will analyze I mean, which one. Yeah, but I can. Yeah, I I hope you can, but you know. So um, the only thing is the parking. Have you any projection on parking spaces or? Right. I mean, normally with a reception banquet church type facility, you're looking at uh, one parking space for every three occupant load. And we've been able to manage to put that in the surrounding area of the facility. Now you have to realize this is a downtown development. Any place you would go, whether it's Kansas City or someplace else, if you're getting married down there, you would have to find parking. Oh, yeah around and we were able to still get the parking requirements now uh, that's one of the th long-term things that we really need to address as we're developing this project with the city is just what all the parking issues will look like not only for this project but for even future development because future development is also going to take parking spaces off the street too so uh, we realize it's a big package and there's a lot of things that have to be worked through uh, and but I think just our knowledge with city staff and, and the desires of the community and everything else, we'll be able to get through all that. Okay, well it's time for staff to move forward. Let's go. One thing I might add too, um, Ida has about 10 employees right now. Uh, seven, of the, seven of those current employees live here, right here in Raytown. Just to give you an idea, she very much supports this community. And, uh, and she would love to actually, one of the things that she was telling us was, she would actually like to open up a sewing school for the youth, is that correct? And, you know, give our, give our uh, young people something else to do besides what they normally do. Okay, thanks. Back to Mr. Kramer. Um, yeah, this, uh, this last weekend I had picked up my packet and, and I, I had a journey to go to North Carolina to, and as Mr. Azure got his prompts in about his daughter. My stepdaughter graduated her master's program with a 4.0 in psychology. And I, as I was on the plane, I was looking over uh, this proposal and uh, I, I was very, very excited about it. Um, I wasn't sure. I've known Ida for a number of years. Um, and of course she is invested in the community. I, was, I, I had a question in my mind as to whether it was her or not. And, and of course, I'm excited to see that. I know she's invested in our, our community. Her son's uh, on our Raytown School Board, Rick Moore, and and uh, uh, they've been around this this area for a long time. Uh, have known Ida for many years, and and she's just a quality person. Um, and and I, I you know I, I myself questioned what was going to go in there when we developed the screen the green space, but. I think this is ideal. I, I think it's great to see something stay within our community and, and build within our community. Um, for so many years, uh, uh, we've we've done things from without the community, and it's it's time to to bring the people of this community together to to do some really awesome things. Uh, I I remember when that was a, a thriving area when I was a child, and and. Uh, um, of course, the First Baptist was there, but the, the strip mall, and my mom used to take us up there, and 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 there's traffic and everything, and and uh, people all around. And as Steve said, uh, you know, to the parking issue, you do something in downtown, uh, you're whether it be downtown Kansas City, uh, downtown wherever, downtown Raytown. Um, you know, parking can be, become an issue, but gosh, I'm really looking forward to having a problem of traffic jams and, and uh, streets that are full and people having to get around. So, uh, you know, I, I wholeheartedly support this. I, I, I would encourage staff to, to look forward uh, uh, into this and, and uh, see what we can do to develop this concept. I think it's a great idea. My question is, is staff looking for direction or a vote from us or just a head nod or what are, what exactly is it that we're looking for from this? What, what staff's really looking for tonight is is a vote or a head nod, one, one, either or. 
Uh, we're simply looking for confirmation that this is a concept that you, you believe in, that you believe has some possibilities that we should at least continue studying over, over the next couple of months. And, and for the, the general public and the folks at home, tonight is not about solidifying a solid deal that's going to start building tomorrow. Tonight is simply about giving a nod to this concept, giving staff an opportunity to dig into it, do our due diligence, find out the cost benefit to the city, uh, uh, while also allowing IDAs to do their due diligence on the project, on the property, uh, and make sure that it's a win-win for both. Uh, so this is really a, a study session that grants staff permission to continue studying the issue and come back in the next couple of months with hopefully a, 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 pro a promise of a, of, a, of a new development plan as also evidence that, that the development plan is a win-win for, for both the city and for the development. Okay, well, with that in mind, I, and I do like the voice vote idea, and, and uh, of course, I would make a motion that staff look forward and, and study this and uh, see if the concept is viable for the Raytown second. community. Second. Ms. White has a second. We're in discussion. So we'll have a conversation. Mr. Ertz? No. Ms. White? No, I was going to make the motion. Okay. Mr. Van Buskirk? Mr. Mayor, I just have one quick question. Um, Hold on, Mr. Van Buskirk, please. Oh, sorry. Hold on one second. Thank you. Um, I realize this is just at beginning stages and, and discussion stages, but I would like to see us continue uh, studying the feasibility of this concept and, and make sure that it is uh, the right thing for our city. And, and uh, um, so I would be in favor of, of doing that, certainly. Mr. Pardew. Yes, uh, we talked briefly about the, the how many staff she has now. What do we project to be the, the amount of jobs that come to Raytown with this? Ida, Ida's been uh, basically telling us somewhere in the neighborhood, uh, her full staff would probably be in the neighborhood of 20 to 25, and then she would still have to have the, the manager for the banquet facility and the chapel with several assistants for that also. Okay, thanks. Mr. Reiser, back to you. Um, Will this be strictly a wedding, or will it be both wedding and pageant, or maybe other dresses? There, there is no limit to what can happen, both in the chapel and in the banquet slash convention area. It's going to be w one of those areas that we hope that uh, the chamber uses for their annual events, Main Street for their annual events, the city for annual events. Uh, it, it's set up to accommodate a variety of activities. Are they going to have banquet? Uh, I mean, they're actually going to. Will it be catered in? Will they supply the food? I'm kind of curious. Um, those those kind of items are still being worked out. We we have obviously talked with several uh, banquet managers and so forth, and they've given us some good ideas. Uh, all in all, we're we're still evaluating some of those. I might just share this with you. Having you know been with the school district for less a long time. Um, it, it's become uh, very difficult for school uh, athletic programs and other programs like the band or whoever to have uh, their annual awards banquet to find a decent facility that is affordable. So most of them have gone back to potluck dinners like they did 40 years ago. Uh, I'd like to see uh, something that could cater to the school district, both of the high schools, with the multiple programs that do offer. Um, you know, that maybe it could be a bank facility that could use that facility you're, you're planning. Well, I, I definitely think that's the whole reason why I was wanting to do it, yeah. Yeah, I, I think that uh, all due respect, we, we seem to have a, uh, certainly a consensus. Mr. Pardue is not uh, with us for the second. I'm going to go ahead, and, unless there's further discussion, I'm going to go ahead and ask for the vote on this and to move on. I ask the clerk to call the vote, please. Uh, Alderman Kramer? Yes. Alderman White? Yes. Alderman Pardue? Alderman Azier? Yes. Alderman Hamilton? Yes. Alderman Melson? Yes. Alderman Ertz? Yes. Alderman Van Buskirk? Yes. Alderman Mock? Yes. Alderman Lightfoot? Yes. Ida, thanks for talking to us tonight. You did a great job. I appreciate it. I, I look forward to, uh, to hearing more about this from the staff in the very near future. And uh, we look for this to happen. So, so thank you very much for coming. At this time, I'm going to ask for a, a quick recess. If I could, maybe a five-minute recess.
We've been at it for almost two hours now, so we'll take a quick five-minute recess and back in here for the legislative session.